Williams clears. Under Donk. Oh, lovely play. You don't have people here. You don't have people. You can never make. You can never make. You are supposed to be a dinner man serving dinner to the students in the secondary school. Because you cannot do best things one plus one. You are here breathing heavy like a dog. Think about your life. You are a failure. You are a failure. You can never make it. You can never, you know you cannot make it. You need to be cutting grass, making this place fresh for the actual people that want to use this place. You are, you are tired, you are here. What have you done? Useless. Me with my pregnancy, I'm better than you. Idiot. What's up, guys, and welcome to another installation of IUG TV, the channel where I bring to you the best and most frequently the worst of what football has to offer within the week. Well, as you guys may know already, the 2019-2020 season is over. That's right, football is over again. <laughs> yeah, it's really, really sad. But it is not entirely done. Football is not entirely done. We still got the UEFA Champions League and the Europa League. While elsewhere in the championship, there was an extremely important match, the playoff finals at Wembley between Fulham and Brentford to determine who gets the last spots for promotion. Going into the match, Brentford were so sure that they were going to come out to the win over Fulham, but due to a beautiful free kick and some controversies, would we'll see Fulham to the promised land. That means Leeds United, West Brom and Fulham would be in the Premier League for the 2020-21 season. I personally do wish Leeds United, Brentford and Fulham the best of luck in the Premier League. Look big man, just tap this ball in and we win the gold. Yeah, I know what to do, just cross the ball. Now, elsewhere in the Premier League, for some reason, the Premier League has announced that players can be booked with a red or a yellow card if they are found coughing or sneezing on their opponents. So I guess you're the one marking me? Yeah, unfortunately for me. <coughs> oh, for God's sake, Raph! Raph! And we'll have a quick look at that. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, oh, yeah, de yep, definitely, definitely a red card. But for real though, has anyone actually thought this shit through? Like, how exactly is the referee supposed to know if that is a red card or a yellow card worthy cough or sneeze? Like, this is straight up the dumbest decision that the Premier League have made so far. And you know what that means. Where there is a dumb decision, there is always a stupidity award attached. And the Premier League have well and truly deserved this. And you're welcome to the news table with your host Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Boy, shut up! I thought your name was supposed to be Stephen Pep! <coughs> uh, and in other news, managers have been getting sucked in the course of the week. First on our list is Bournemouth's Eddie Howe. As you guys may already know, Bournemouth has been relegated from the Premier League to the Championship. And it was said some days after that Eddie Howe had been sacked by the Bournemouth board. And this is a clip of the discussion. Look big man, I'm sorry but we have to let you go. Okay then, I'll be on my way. Are you for real? You're not gonna beg? Uh, you're not gonna even bribe me? Nah, I was planning on leaving anyway. Steve! Uh, oh, 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 sorry, sorry. Um, uh, um, yes, um, regardless, um, Eddie Howe is a very good manager and we do hope that he finds a better place to work at. Joining Eddie Howe on the sack list is the Juventus ex-manager Maurizio Sarri. Sarri was sacked by the Juventus board 
after their inability to win the second leg round of 16 match against Leon. And despite the fact that they had already won the Italian league, the season wasn't really their best as they really did underperform and for that reason Juventus had to let the Italian manager leave. And in other news, Gareth Bell was said to be left out of the Real Madrid squad that faced Man City in the second leg tie. According to Zinedine Zidane, he said that Gareth Bale said he did not want to play. But our team of paparazzis were able to get this information from an enclosed conversation. Zidane, I would really, really love to play the second leg against Man City. If you can please just play me in your starting 11. Look Gareth, I cannot play you the second leg. Because I don't like you. But if you feel bored, I have membership tickets for one of the biggest golfing courts in the world. I can just give it to you and you go play golf while we win Man City. Are you for real? You got membership for the Mission Field Golf Course. I would really, really love that. But what will you tell the guys? I will just tell them that you are ill and I said you should stay home. Mr. Zlodin Zidane, please why isn't Gareth Bale in your starting eleven for your match against Man City? <sighs> Gareth Bale didn't want to play. At least now we know why Gareth Bale supposedly said he did not want to play in the match against Man City. And we will be back after the short commercial break and when we do, it's transfer news. Glorious. He's ready to be the star. back and now it is time for the transfer news. Arsenal looking to keep Yamik Aubameyang in their squad as they are closing in on a deal for the gap and it's been made official that Alexis Sanchez originally unknown from Manchester United to Inter Milan will be staying at Inter Milan permanently as they have found him useful. Wait 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 hold up hold up hold up Five. This man literally gets out of a two-year UEFA Champions League ban, and now signs Torres and Aka, and now he is about to sign five more. Yeah, I'm just gonna say Pep Guardiola is a madman. He needs to be stopped. Somebody needs to stop Pep Guardiola. Yup, Eric Garcia may well be coming back to his boyhood club Barcelona as he has refused to extend his Manchester City contracts. And this just in, Bournemouth has announced that Jason Timball, Eddie Howe's right hand man, will be taking over Bournemouth for the 2020 21 season. Another breaking news the former Juventus midfielder Andrea Perlo has been announced the new manager of the Juventus side. And unfortunately, this is where we say goodbye. Thank you for tuning in to IUG TV News. We hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time. <music>
to be sincere going into that match i was my heart was literally in my mouth like i looked at our bench before the match and we did not have one not one professional footballer was on that bench we our bench was literally filled with eight-year-olds our bench was filled with our youth academy boys and of course all the professionals are quite old and um i was like are this guys gonna be able to play full 90 or something like that but well barcelona will always remain barcelona barcelona defeated napoli 3-1 3-1 in the match and um 4-2 on aggregate going into the match was 1-1 Napoli seemingly being the strongest side and even during the match Barca we were really really looking ourselves we've really had a very very poor season and um, we did actually we did actually um, try in this um, second leg it was not our best Um, Napoli had more possession they were pressing but you just know that when Barcelona wants to win we will win and that is where I get to Lionel Messi Messi is an unbelievable human being how do you score this type of goal this match has literally defied the laws of physics like how how and how he dribbles two people good normal messy stuff dribbling two people of course he falls down he's still dribbling of course it's messy he can do that but how has messy fallen to an opposite direction and still got enough on the ball to coil it back into the net how how has he like i saw when i was watching the match i was like i i didn't even know what to say i was just looking at my dad and like we're just smiling i was looking at my mom like mom we just scored we just scored we just scored but it was really really cool tremendous work from barca i really do hope we go all the way and um well we just get to see we are facing bayern munich in the quarterfinals and speaking of Bayern Munich also on that same night Chelsea faced Bayern Munich now if you're a Chelsea fan you will likely dislike this video or on un- unsubscribe <laughs> rather unsubscribe uh, but I am going on this channel I I'm not I don't hate any team I'm a Barca fan for sure but except from maybe real madrid i don't really hate any other team so anything i say here is because like you guys really did not play well so chelsea chelsea 3-0 down on aggregate um it was um really really sad to watch that match like uh, i don't i don't even know i was just, like they their defense was poor they first of all gave out a silly penalty at the beginning of the match Bayern Munich 4-0 okay it's just the beginning of the match we can still do this Chelsea you could still do it nope they went on kept going I don't understand uh, what's his name again um Perisic right they just left Perisic unmarked Lewandowski was able to find him and he just like tapped it in like nobody's even marking everybody's on Lewandowski oh Lewandowski is going to shoot but no they they become they get um they're now 2 nil down okay it goes for some time Bayern are dominating. They're just playing the ball. Around. They're playing Chelsea like kids. They Chelsea, uh, they really did underperform for me. They were poor. They didn't concentrate. They were not. Um, I don't think their minds were 
at the game or something like that. I don't really know what was going on there, but Bayern Munich, regardless, beat Chelsea. They beat Chelsea 4, right? They beat Chelsea 4-1. Chelsea would later on go to score, but the goal really didn't mean anything. So that means Bayern Munich beat Chelsea 7-1 on aggregate because of their 3-0 win at home to Chelsea. It was really, really sad. And... Um, I am still a little bit afraid because we face Bayern Munich in quarterfinals. We are facing Bayern Munich. Oh, okay. Whew. Uh, it's going to be a really tough one. Lewandowski and Messi. You guys should leave in the comment section below who you feel is going to win that Barcelona versus Bayern Munich match. And then at the beginning of the UEFA Champions League resumption, we had um juventus face leon juventus face leon and uh, it was quite interesting it was really really interesting because um going into the match leon were one zero right yeah one nil up on aggregate so like they had an away goal and um then we get into the match and for me i don't feel this is a penalty i feel the referee of that match was really really dumb on my on my side he was just blowing his whistle anyhow he literally the ball um so um some guy i don't even know any of the events players from now don't the balance some other cool people but this defender dives in for the ball as we can clearly see he has gotten the ball but the referee has decided to give the penalty i don't know they took it to var i don't understand how the var didn't um cancel it but they still got the penalty at either way and leon will go on to be um two precisely maybe they and the match they were 1-0 up but on aggregate they are now 2-0 up so then Cristiano Ronaldo was the man of the match of course he scored two brilliant actually it was, the first one was a penalty but the second goal was uh was I don't really like hyping X Real Madrid players but still the goal was regardless beautiful like he Ronaldo is a great great player and that's that goal was just like it was it was cool it was really nice but they would go on to win the match apparently they would win the match at that point but on aggregate the match in a 2-2 and Leon would win on away goals because they had an away goal and um pretty much things like i don't really know how this uh, new UEFA champions league goal stuff works but um it did work so then we had manchester city versus real madrid this match was um it was sad it was really really sad so ramos is on a red card he was on a red card oh he is on a i don't yeah, he's no longer in the Champions League, so he was on a red card and wasn't able to play. So I guess Varane was his um replacement. Ralph of Varane will go would go on rather would go on to cost Real Madrid two goals, and then Manchester City will go on to win the match two one and four one on aggregate. And yeah, that's pretty much everything going on right now in the Champions League. I personally do hope that um, Barcelona do scale through to the finals and eventually win the whole thing. But it's a really close um, and tough competition. So we just have to wait and see who gets all the gold. Well, I personally do hope Barca comes out on top. So our quarterfinal stages are set. RB Leipzig versus Atletico Madrid, Manchester City versus Leon, Barcelona versus Bayern Munich, and PSG versus Atlanta. You guys should leave in the comment section who you feel is going to come out with all the gold.
that is it for RUG TV this week. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed the shenanigans, slap a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And if there's anything you want me to add to the series or ways you think I can make it better, then drop your thoughts in the comment section below. It's been a pleasure ranting at you guys today. Have a great day. Enjoy yourselves and goodbye. <laughs>